Thanks for checking out my video. In this one, I'm looking at the two different ways to merge your skeleton with the ALS V4 version of the RPG inventory and interaction bundle. The first is using a skeleton that's rigged to the regular UE4 mannequin. This one's the simplest. Firstly, you want to check that your skeleton follows the regular mannequin setup and has no extra bones or bones that don't follow the regular naming convention. To merge a new character, you can simply right click the skeleton file and select the delete option. Ensure you set the update references option to the ALS mannequin skeleton, then select replace references. Depending on what was linked to your model, this can take some time or be really quick. Save all the selected items, and now we can search for our ALS Animan blueprint. Open it up and select the mesh option near the top of the hierarchy. We can now change our skeletal mesh to our new imported skin. It should appear in your viewport, but it might display the old material. Simply click Compile to update it. If it's still the wrong texture, just double check the material field and try and test run the game. Now you can see our new model will work. It's properly targeted to all of our animations of our regular controller. The next method is for non-standard UE4 skeletons that have extra bones. In this example, I am using Code Spartan's male character customizer. You can see its skeleton has two extra bones on the hands that cause UE4 to crash when trying to retarget. To remove them, we need to export the model to an FBX file and import it into a 3D editor. I found Maya's free trial to be the easiest. Import your saved FBX to Maya. Find the root in the hierarchy and navigate down the chain to the offending bones and delete them from your skeleton. Next, we need to unparent the root object from the top level, in this case, SK Man. To do this, right click in the view screen with the root bone selected and navigate to Actions, Unparent. Now we want to highlight our mesh, any blend shapes and our skeleton in the hierarchy. Maya has a center Unreal function. You will first need to direct it to your desired game project folder. With the folder selected, we can now export our model to the project. Now head back to your Unreal project. In a Windows Explorer window, you'll need to navigate to the base folder and then imports to find your file. Copy that file and then paste it into your content folder. The import item window will pop up. Simply select import, ensuring that the skeleton field is left blank so that we import our new skeleton. Our imported materials will be blank. Upon opening them, we'll see that they may lack some of the setup of our original model. Opening our mesh, we can see the skeleton is now without the offending pieces. If we switch to the Details tab, we can also assign the original materials. Save each of our new files and following the same steps as the previous method, we can delete our skeleton, replacing it with the ALS mannequin. Again, this may take some time, but you shouldn't have to retarget any animations or face any crashes. Just let the system work away. After it's finished, you can check that the skeleton has been replaced. Ensure that the sockets have transferred correctly.
Also, after deleting skeletons, it's best practice to fix up redirectors in folder by right clicking on the folder and choosing fix up redirectors. As with before, we can now change our mesh to the new one that we've imported. In my demonstration, I actually have a modular mesh put over the top, and this causes a little bit of conflict, but you can see that our mesh will actually work when we start the game. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any issues, let me know in the Discord server and I'll see if I can help.